Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. Previously, we have discussed about nested loops and in today's episode, we will be discussing about control statements in Python. So far, we have come across topics like conditional statements, sequential loops, where you can see that the statements gets executed in an order say in a line by line manner. So now let's consider an example. So in a simple product store where the user wants to buy a product and in there he's asked how many products that he want. So when the user enters a certain number, according to that the product must get issued. But suppose if the user enters a number that is larger than the number of products that are available in the store, then it must inform the user that the products are out of stock. Let's now see how to implement that. So here, I've already introduced a variable x and in there I've asked the user how many products does he want and then also introduce a while loop which runs from 1 to x. So here there are two conditions. One condition is to issue the products when they are available and the other condition is to display out of stock when the products run out of stock. So for that let's introduce an if else condition if i greater than product stock but before that let's initialize this product stock here product stock let's give 7 print out of stock And in the else condition, print issue product let's now run this how many number of products you want let me give 5 So here you can see that there are 5 products displayed as there are 7 products in the stock. Now let's rerun this and enter a number that is larger than the stock. Say 12, hit enter. So here you can see that all the products from the stock have been displayed and since there is no product left after that, it said out of stock for the remaining products. But we don't want this message to get displayed for all the products that are out of stock. It is more than enough if it gets displayed only once and stops looping after the product runs out of stock. To do so, there is a control statement called as break. So this will break out of the loop and will save a lot of memory by avoiding unwanted looping. So now, let's replace this increment statement with a break statement and run it. Let's give the same number. 12. Like you can see, the break statement has terminated out of the loop and made it look more optimized. So that's how break statement works in Python. Now moving on to the next control statement, continue. Basically when the compiler encounters a continue statement, it skips the rest of the current iteration and continues with the next iteration. For example, in the same program, instead of checking the stock before issuing the product, let's now keep on issuing the product until the user exceeds the stock limit. And if it exceeds, use a continue statement to stop that iteration and continue with the next one. Let's now see how to implement continue statement in this program. So here, we have to change this to i less than or equal to product stock because only when the number of products that the user enters is less than the stock limit, it must issue the product. i less than or equal to product stock, then issue the product. And then increment i
and then use the continue statement. So let's now run this. Let me give 12. Like you can see on using continue statement, the products have been displayed from one to seven. And at the eighth iteration, the continue statement has stopped the current iteration and executed the next iteration. That is the out of stock statement. So that's how continue statement works. And now if the user confirms order, it must proceed to the next level. That is the payment process. So to implement that, let's introduce a variable order status and assign it to zero. And then I'll introduce an if condition, if order status. But what I'm thinking is that I will build this process tomorrow or the day after. For now, I will just leave it empty. But in Python, leaving a block empty will throw an error. So in this case, you can use the control statement called as pass this way so that it does not throw any error and in the near future, you can build this block. And that's all for today. We'll be discussing about functions in the next tutorial. So stay tuned and see you all in the next.